All right, bring it in, guys, if you can, please. They're awake long before sunrise, a habit ingrained over the years. So we've piled everyone into an eight who used to ply the white blade of Washington. They're the Ancient Mariners Rowing Club, up and row. a competitive men's masters rowing team. All right, let's lead away, walk it down. Watch your own heads up. Based at Seattle's Pocock Rowing Center. Just angle over to starboard so you're against the wall of the cut. They're on the water year round at 5 a.m. twice a week. On Saturdays, they sleep in, and practice starts at 6 a.m. And it was started by a group that was predominantly Washington rowers, um, you know, but it started 20 years ago or so. 78-year-old Tom Olson in the black vest and red cap is the oldest. And to my mind, it's the absolute epitome of a team sport because you can be the strongest guy in the world, but if you're not with the gang, if you're not rowing in synchronization, you aren't going to go anywhere. When Olson was listed on the freshman roster in 1958, the varsity coach was Al Ulbrichsen. The legendary coach built the Husky crew team and brought home an Olympic gold medal in 1936, as chronicled in the book, The Boys in the Boat. There was you know, maybe part myth around him or what, but there was something about him. You know, he didn't say much, but what he said was very, very meaningful. And he always gave you the, the sense that you may be the smallest guy out here, but you've got a chance if you work hard enough and do it well. Olson also remembers George Pocock, who built the Husky Racing Shells, and for whom the Pocock Rowing Center is named. George Pocock would come out with him periodically, and they would discuss fine points of rowing. This is race pressure, guys. Not quite race praise. I'm afraid to quit. <laughs> I mean, they put up with me, you know. I'm, I'm the oldest guy by, uh, I think, at least four years, and I just feel if I quit, um, I, I don't know what I'd do. Bill Pitlick, in the gray shirt, rode for UW 50 years ago, and he's never forgotten what he learned in a Husky boat. It teaches you so many things about life and life experiences, about working together. Big finish here, guys. Doing what you're supposed to do, not trying to do what everybody else is supposed to do, and uh, it taught me a, a huge amount about how to get along in my life, in my career. You're not gonna win every race, you're not going to win uh, every day, but you, you learn to practice, you learn to work hard. It, it, it pays off. All right, guys, last two fifty, driving like the stole. Their Commodore is one of the youngest members of the team, Lenville O'Donnell, who coaches as well as Rose. Sometimes it's not fun when it's raining and it's bitter cold and it's the middle of the winter and you're soaking wet, but there's an old saying, rowing doesn't have to be fun to be fun. The ancient mariners have competed in regattas all over the world. The rowers compete for spots in the boat, just as they did in college. I like the shift, gentlemen. But they show up for practice, not just to compete, but for the exercise and the camaraderie. And it's fun to go out with a bunch of sweaty old men at 5 o'clock in the morning. What could be better than that?